Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm 64 here, and I want to make this little video explaining on why I love Pokemon. Now, of course, you can just tell by looking at my channel. I'm play playing through Pokemon Uranium, a fan game. I do Pokemon Sword and Shield news updates. I am a huge fan of Pokemon, and I have been since I was five years old, which was back in 2000. I think 10. No. Yeah, 9 or 10. I can't remember. Anyway, I want to explain why I love Pokemon. So, back in around like 2010, my cousin was visiting for the summer. And she brought her Nintendo DS. And I had a DS at the time, so I was like, oh, we can play games together. And then she pulled out a game called Pokemon Pearl. I was like, what the heck is a Pokemon? I want to play that, and then she let me play it, and from that moment, as soon as I loaded up and picked Chimchar as my starter Pokemon, I've been in love with Pokemon. I can't explain why I love the game so much, it's, they're just so much fun, and I just remember playing the game, the Pokemon Pearl, and then waking up super early to watch the then airing Pokemon anime Sinnoh League Victors. I would watch that, and then when I saw commercials for Pokemon Black and White, which were coming out at the time of me getting into Pokemon, I was super excited. I got Pokemon Black and White the day of release, well I got Pokemon White the day of release, as a surprise for my mom, and a few days later, the Pokemon Black and White anime aired, and literally ever since then, I have not stopped loving Pokemon. From 2009 or 10 to now, I have been in love with Pokemon. I love pretty much every generation of Pokemon, except for Gen 1 because I'm p pretty sick of it. And there's a few key reasons of why I'm, I still love Pokemon the way I do. So back when I was first getting into Pokemon, I got a bunch of Pokemon toys. Like, my mom just cranked out the Pokemon toys and kept throwing them at me. Just more and more. And I kind of built my own Pokemon world. Like, I had Pikachu. Like, my main Pikachu toy. As, like, the mayor of all Pokemon. He had a, an assistant, which was Azora. A best friend, which was Oshawott. And he had a, a mean guy, or like a rival, who was Snivy. Controlling Zora's mother, the Zorark. It, it was weird, I'm not gonna lie, now that I think back on it, it was really weird, but as a kid, I just made up the, the weirdest things, and went with it, and kept the story, and that made me love Pokemon more and more, and it kind of held me off for new games, because I was thinking of new scenarios to use my toys with, and then when, when Pokemon X and Y were announced, I exploded. Of course, Pokemon Black and White 2, where first like first came out, I was excited for those, but not super excited. I played those. I finished the Pokemon Black 2 in literally one day. Like, literally. <coughs> oh, sorry. One day. And then, I was waiting for the next Pokemon game. While watching the anime, I was just waiting. When's the next Pokemon game? When's the next Pokemon game? And there it was revealed. The first fully 3D Pokemon game, Pokemon X and Y, and from that moment, I just kept loving Pokemon. I went back, I watched all the Pokemon anime series, now I've seen all of them, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, and I watched all the Pokemon movies, I, I never got into the trading card game, but I do collect them, and I started getting Pokemon plushes, literally Pokemon everything. I started playing some Pokemon fan games. I went back and got old Pokemon games that I never played before. So before X and Y came out, I, I got Heart Gold and Soul Silver and played through those. Had a blast. I played through Ruby and Sapphire. I played through Crystal. And then I played through the original Red and Blue. And then, finally, X and Y came out. When X and Y came out, it was so surreal. Because it was like... It was 2013 at that point. So it had been almost four years since I played a new Pokemon game. So, the feeling of playing a brand new Pokemon game with brand new Pokemon was just amazing. So, that made me 
even more invested in the series. And then it, it didn't really help that the anime was just amazing. The X and Y anime is probably one of the best seasons of the anime, period. And that just was really good. Kept me into it. Unfortunately, Cartoon Network airing problems didn't keep me into it that much. Cause, so I missed a couple of episodes here and there. But I went back and watched them. And then Sun and Moon were announced. It was a nice, calm day. And Sun and Moon were announced. And I loved the announcement trailer and I loved Pokemon Sun and Moon now I'm kinda eh about them but my main question for all of you is why did you guys start liking Pokemon I want you guys to put in the comments I want I want everyone to start a new hashtag hashtag why I love Pokemon and I wanna see what you guys love about Pokemon. Why you started li liking Pokemon. What got you into the franchise. And why you keep staying for more. Because I'm not going to lie. With all the Sword and Shield negativity going around. It's a really, really tough time to be a Pokemon fan. Like, really tough. Game Freak is not making pre like good decisions at all. In any way, shape, or form. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were pretty disappointing games. And really underwhelming. And Sword and Shield look a little bit worrying. I still have hope that they're going to be good games, but only time will tell. We only have three days left to wait, and I guess then we'll be able to tell what the damage is. Other than that, I just want to know what you guys, like what brought you into the Pokemon franchise and what kept you there. Because for me, it was pretty much just my own imagination and the games. It was like, it was a games mixed with my own imagination together is what kept me into the franchise so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this quick little little pokemon thing i just wanted to spread some positivity about pokemon during a time where pokemon is let's let's say getting a lot of negative opinions so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next video bye